ट्रेंड्स वी हैव न्यू सेट ऑफ जेनरेटिव ए आई मॉडल्स दि डेवलपर्स आर कॉलिंग दम लार्ज वर्ल्ड मॉडल्स द रिजल्ट आर ट्रूली माइंड ब्लोइंग दीज थ्री लाइन्स कैप्चर वाट दि आथर्स आर ट्राइंग टू डू सो दीज मॉडल्स दोज आर जनरल पर्पस एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली दे हैव लार्ज कॉन्टेक्सट एंड दे आर मल्टी मॉडल सो एर्लियर दिस वीक गूगल रिलीज्ड न्यू सेट ऑफ जेमनाई मॉडल्स विच हैज कॉन्टेक्सट लेंथ ऑफ वन मिलियन टोकन्स राइट नाउ वी हैव ओपन सोर्स मॉडल्स विच आल्सो हैव कॉन्टेक्स लेंथ ऑफ वन मिलियन नाउ सिमिलर टू द प्रीवियस जेनरेटिव ए मॉडल्स दीज आर ऑल्सो ऑटो रिग्रेसिव मीनिंग दे जेनरेट वन टोकन एट ए टाइम एंड दे यूज द जेनरेटेड टोकन एज एन इनपुट इन द नेक्स्ट इटरेशन टू जेनरेट ए न्यू टोकन ओके नाउ these models are trained on large data sets of diverse long videos these videos are up to an hour uh they have used a new technique called ring attention uh the important thing is these are multimodal models and they work with the language image and text in both understanding and generation Okay. I try to run the code on Google uh, Colab, uh, but I ran into some source code errors. But today we will see the results uh, provided by the uh, developers. Okay, so here uh, they talked about the data set used for training, but let's look into the results, which is more interesting for us. Now the first result uh, is truly, truly mind blowing. so here we have the model performance uh, between 0 to 1 obviously the higher the score the better it is now on x axis we have the context length starting with let's say uh, 1000 tokens all the way up to 1 million tokens and then on y axis we have the depth percent what it is so when we provide a context to a generative ai model and then we ask a question typically we have the answer to the question somewhere in the context right it could be at the beginning of the context somewhere in the middle of the context or end of the context right if the relevant information needed to answer the question is at the very beginning of the document that means the depth percentage uh, is uh, at the beginning right if the answer to the question is at the very end of the context that means the depth percentage is higher and closer to 100% okay so typically when we have a small context length no matter where the relevant information is to answer the question the previous generative ai models they are able to find the relevant context and answer the question correctly right so for the smaller context length majority of the models they give high accurate results right uh, so the accuracy here the green color indicate uh, the best performance right so this is not surprising but the real surprising is in this region typically what happens is as the context length increases the generative models are able to perform well only if the answer to the question is either at the beginning of the context or at the end of the context but if it is in the middle of the context usually a uh, majority of the previous llm models if not all the models have very low accuracy uh, in this region okay so it's something like this let's say we gave a student uh, a very big book and then we uh, ask the questions uh, to the student now if we ask the questions which are relevant to the beginning of the pages like this region the student able to answer correctly so let's think of it like uh, the student at the beginning uh, studied with high concentration similarly if we ask the questions which are relevant to the 
end pages of the book the student again able to answer it correctly because of the recency because the student has read the last pages very recently so he's able to recollect or retrieve the information and answer the questions but if the question we are answering is relevant to the middle pages uh, the student is not able to answer correctly right so that's exactly the similar behavior the llms are showing when the context length is uh, around this uh, region right uh, when it is typically hundreds of thousands right but this model it is truly truly remarkable no matter what the context length is uh, even if it the context length is 1 million no matter where in the context length the answer to the question is the models are able to retrieve the relevant information even from the middle of this 1 million tokens and generate the correct response okay so the green region around this area is truly truly mind blowing right uh, this will have a significant consequences in rag type of systems right if we are able to provide large text and still be able to retrieve the correct information from the middle of the context and get the right answer uh, we can get away with rag systems right so this result uh, is truly remarkable and it's going to have a significant uh, consequences in how we approach uh, gen ai applications okay so that's the first result and in the second result Interestingly, what the authors did is they put together 500 different video clips to make an hour long uh, video, right? So it's a now hour long video, which is really long uh, because the current Gen AI model, they either process uh, typically few seconds to up to one minute video or they generate few seconds to one minute video. But here what we are doing is we are providing an hour video as an input that to that video is created using uh, 500 different clips right so the context length is really really large and then uh, the authors ask uh, 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 some questions so here we have the three uh, state of the art models gpt4 vision gemini4 vision and video lava right now when they ask uh, questions like this uh, what vehicle was the person dressed in uh, t rex uh, costume riding uh, the current state of the art model either they are unable to provide any answer like here i am sorry i cannot provide assistant with that request or they have provided these incorrect results now here the authors claim uh, we still need to uh, test uh, if these results are ge really generalizable or um, may work well only on these uh, maybe carefully chosen videos uh, that uh, the jury is still out there but at least on the text uh, test the authors conducted this large world models they have answered it correctly okay here we have another question i won't read it but again here uh, they are saying the current state of the art models are unable to answer but uh, their uh, own model is able to answer correctly okay so to quickly summarize this second uh, use case the author simply compiled an hour long video by making use of 500 different video clips from youtube right and they provided this one hour video as an input uh, to this large world model and then asked certain questions the three state of the art models are unable to provide uh, the correct answers whereas their own model is giving the right answers now the third test uh, interacting with images so here we have an image then the user asked if you were a photograph a photographer looking to capture this location essence what time of the day would you choose and give the reasons again i'm not going to read this text but it gave the right answer which is the sunset uh, to capture the essence of this picture and it also provide the right reasons why it would choose uh, the sunset okay the second uh, test so they have provided this image as an input and asked the model what are the different ways uh, different users can interpret here it has provided two interpretation so the first one is commentary on the limitations of human understanding 
which is looking reasonably correct and the second one uh, it's a deeper connection and understanding between human and animals which is a right representation uh, uh, of some humans uh, how they perceive this image okay so that's also great and the final test uh, generating videos from uh, text prompt okay now the authors haven't provided these generated videos they only provided the screenshot but here as we can see uh, a simple text from fireworks exploding in the sky so the screenshots from the image uh, they are looking quite right another one waves crashing against the shore these uh, images are also looking uh, quite uh, good okay so as i mentioned i try to run the code so the use uh, the uh, developers they have provided all the instructions uh, how to install and how to run these models um, on google collab i was able to install uh, uh, install the library but when i ran uh, i am running into this source code uh, error issues so maybe in the next couple of days if i am able to run the code correctly so i will uh, show you the results live uh, but as i mentioned among all these this result is truly truly remarkable that able to achieve high accuracy in this region uh, going to have significant impact on text based uh, generative ai applications okay that's all for this video thank you very much